All right, y'all. Got the camera set up in a decent angle. Um, maybe if I angle it this way a little bit more. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. I don't think it will, but we're gonna fucking, we finally got to a place where we could practice the wheelies. Now, I was a little blown. Hey, you better get back on your bike. It's cool. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the, the battery out. Okay. Oh, this is coming off again. This thing always comes off. You just twist it back on. <sighs> Alright. So I kind of got it down. I kind of got like the balance point and stuff and how it works. Oh! This bike's been stalling out on like weird and random stuff. But I saw you guys' comments and you mentioned how this gear shifter or the, the clutch is a uh, I call this a gear shifter. That's, I've read a comment too and people are like, you called that a gear shifter? I meant the clutch. The clutch is uh, really far and it's really tight so it's hard to pull it. Um, I don't think these are adjustable so I can't really do anything about the distance. I guess I gotta buy a new clutch. Uh, a clutch, uh, not the line, but the uh, this part where you pull it. We're gonna try to do wheelies for you guys. Get it on camera. Little bit. I was hoping that I was in the angle of the camera. What the heck? My bike went back to neutral. How did it get to neutral? I must have kicked it into neutral. All right, I think you can see me from this angle on the camera. We're just doing it from small distance. Damn, the bike keeps cutting. Even if I'm on clutch, it doesn't matter. It just cuts off. And it's gotta be because this probably is getting too much air or not enough fuel or something. So it's just dying out. But I have to keep this all the way up, because if not, it bogs. Actually, let's try to do that. Hopefully now it doesn't cut off. It pops up so smooth, you guys. It feels so good to pop it up. The only issue is holding it in that sweet spot. That's what I'm trying to find and learn. I don't want to be able to gun it like that because there's not enough power to kick it back up if I'm not high enough. So I'm trying to just keep it at a at the balance point that they always talk about. Oh, <laughs> it stalled out mid wheelie. So weird. Never had that happen. I don't know what it is. People are probably gonna roast me in the comments, being like, "You're doing it wrong. You're not supposed to let go of the clutch. Or you're supposed to hold the clutch slightly." You're not supposed to just dump the clutch like that. Whoo! <laughs> I was scary, man. I was so far back. Well, it felt like it. We'll see in the camera. That's why I like recording too, so I can see what it looks like. But I'll teach you guys how to do it. I'm just trying to get it down. Just so that way I can see a little bit. Now, I keep taking my feet off. And that's what you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to keep your feet onto it. And you want to hug the tank. Like... Like both legs, you want to be hugging it. That's what you're supposed to do, but it's just hard, man. When you're first doing it, when you're first time, I know a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, but you want to practice good habits. You're right. I have been getting this foot off. Usually how I used to do it is I'll show you guys on the big camera how I used to do it, how I started learning and stuff. Because I'm new to this. is my first bike ever. Is I would sit on the back seat a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see from this angle. I would sit on the back seat a little bit like this, and then I keep my feet down, and then you pop it up, you just dump the clutch, you basically rev twice, one, two, and then last rev, you dump the clutch, and then that's what gives it that little jolt and pop, and that's what makes it pop up. I stalled out on purpose, just to show you guys. It won't stall out if you're giving it gas. You need to learn how to do this, okay, so I'd sit back on the back seat, rev it up, and I would just keep my back feet down and just tippy toe my way just like that so that way it's like I'm at least practicing keeping getting it up but I'm not like scared because like if I fall back I'll show you guys what it looks like if I if I get it too high it, it's fine because I got my back feet back there so so if I get it too high it's just like like that too high you just you just run it basically just hold it be careful not to whiskey throttle it when you do that i'll show you guys again on camera 
but it looks like at a different angle. So if you if you have your back feet off the edge of it, like this, and then you just scun it, and then you do it too much, you can just hold it. Just don't whiskey throttle, just hold it, and then get back on it. That's why it's good to practice like that, so you can start learning how to pop it up. You can pop it up and you can just find the balance point, and then once you get good at that, practice getting back on the bike a little bit more, staying on the center. I'm, I'm nobody to teach, I'm just showing you guys how I learn. Stay on the center of it, keep one foot off, one foot on, right foot on for the front brake. I don't hit it ever usually, I don't actually hit it, and you need to hit it, but I don't. And then just pop it up and then once you get comfortable with a certain height go ahead and pop it up higher like you don't have to first time riding you don't have to like oh I'm just gonna send it all the way back or that high up because it feels higher than it actually looks like I feel like I'm pretty high up on the bike but it's really not so if you want just just practice that practice that it's okay if it stalls out put it in neutral just cut the bike back on but it's okay to just pop it up a little bit and then just learn. Now once you once you throttle it, you're gonna wanna, uh, basically once you pop it, you're gonna wanna gas it again. You don't wanna just gas it, pop it, and then leave it. You gotta, you gotta keep revving it. Like watch, I'll, I'll look at my right hand. As you guys saw, I was just wham, 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 keeping it up so that way I could keep doing it and keep the bike up. You don't want to just, if you fall back, this is a small enough bike to the point where it's fine. You're not going to hurt yourself. You can catch yourself as long as you're ready. You'll be able to catch yourself fine. Ooh. So I'm going to try to do my longest wheelie right here. At the beginning of the video, I think that was my longest wheelie. As you guys see, I keep this leg down. The reason I do it is because it's like it's like a safety net. Like if I get scared or something or something's happening, I'll go ahead and pick it back up. It looks weird at first, but when you're just learning, you don't care about how you look. You just want to learn. And then once I get comfortable, I'll pick it up. Woo! Whiskey throttle. I'll pick it up and put it back up. And I'll show you guys what that looks like picking it up. I just don't feel 100% comfortable doing it. So let me show you. See that balancing is hard though, but you just pick it up and put it right back on the on the peg of the bike. So it's just putting it on very slowly and easily. I'll get closer to the camera so I can show you guys exactly what it looks like. So it's off. Just pick it up and put it on it. 125 is 100 percent capable of wheeling. I suggest doing it from a standstill just because it's easier to catch yourself because when you're rolling like for instance if I'm rolling you got to really you got to really gun it a little bit more and if you're not confident with the bike yet you're gonna bust your ass so that's why like just doing it from a standstill it's easier so that way you can actually get it and whatnot you know standstill is a lot easier because if I fuck up I'll catch myself And then if I, let me try doing it while moving. I put it in neutral again. All right, let's see how far we can go with this. Dang it. I want to try to make it all the way down there. If I can do that, I'll be happy. Let me try it real quick. We're gonna try to make it as close to the barrel as we can. Dang it, I was falling off so I took my foot off. I gotta get comfortable with back braking. Let's get the wheel down a little bit and then just gun it again. Or give it gas. Cause every time I stop it just makes it harder. Ooh, right there I was falling from balance. Let me do it over here so it's in camera. 
that's the that's the balance point right there like i could feel it like i could feel it you don't have to give it too much gas you just feel it like kind of staying there and then you throttle it when you need it i'm trying to learn how to get that balance point and then after i get it up and i can hold it at that balance point that's when i need to start learning how to like put my legs out left and right to keep myself from falling over and tipping over I've been riding for like maybe a month but I don't ride every day it's like maybe once a weekend usually when I upload a video that's when I ride so it's very very little because I haven't been uploading too many Apollo videos but right here I'm gonna get it up all right what I want to try I don't know how far back I'm going but I really want to try to like send it to the point where it's like I'm almost scraping, but I gotta remember to hit this back brake. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it real quick. This is gonna be a fucking scary. It's scary, because once you get that point, it's like you wanna tip over. But that's the 12 o'clock wheelie that I'm trying to do. It's also easier on a hill. You can feel in the ground if it's even or whatnot, or if there's bumps. And if there's a bump somewhere, you just gotta make sure that you're like not in it, or you wanna be in it, like my back tire in it, so I'm sitting like this a little bit, or at least this, so it's easier to pop it up. Because if I'm sitting like this, it's gonna be way harder to pop it. <laughs> Is he gonna do wheelies? Zoom in. There you go. Nice. Try and get behind him. Huh? I'm too scared to go too far back. It's hard. Going like crazy because it's scary going back like that. Like, he actually got pretty far back, like 12 o'clock angle. He almost hit it. He's got to do a on his knee. That's tough. I'm just too scared to take my foot off. He's got it, he's getting close. Trust myself. Trust that I won't fuck up. It's hard. You can set it down on the floor. This jump? Yeah, here. It's not as fast as Lissandro's. Here, let me see it. Why y'all better go ride somewhere or something? Nah, I just want to ride right here. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. How's yours? One down? All up. He's a four wheeler, he doesn't ride dirt bikes. But do a same thing, you drop the clutch. Oh hell no. I can't do it on this thing. Uh. Yeah, 
Yeah, you have to just drop the clutch. That bike's nice, man. It looks so good. Dang, this is such a bad zoom. It's a really nice bike. For a cheap, for 800, man, you can't get better than that. You just ride it at first, that's it. Dang, my chain is loose. I need to tighten my chain. I'm probably going to be done riding. But guys, that's the end of the video. I'm vlogging. Vlogception right now, but it was a lot of fun. That's wheeling the Apollo. Sometimes you can do it. You can do it. I'm just new to biking, so it's hard for me, but it's fun, man. A lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you please can, give this video a thumbs up. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to clean what you're supposed to do after every ride of the Apollo, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.